Hey guys, what's up? It's Queenie here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you guys can see from the title, today is going to be another natural hair video. So today I am trying some new products and we're about to see if it's going to revive my hair because my hair is dry and severely dirty right now. It is just crusty from old gel and just sitting there. So it's very, very, very dry and really gross and it needs to be washed and brought back to life. So with that being said, this video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by Flora and Curl Hair Products. So this is a brand that I'm trying for the first time right here, right now with you guys. So everything that I say obviously is all of my own opinions and you guys are here to experience it with me for the first time. So <laughs> we gotta keep it real, okay? So I'm really hoping that this turns out well and this works on my hair and that I can actually achieve what I'm trying to do. So my goal right now is to be able to have a beautiful defined head of hair while using very, very simple products. So with that being said, this should be successful considering that Flora and Curl is all natural and plant powered. So their products are natural ingredients and they know what plants work to do what for natural hair. So this should be successful if I have the details correct. <laughs> okay, let's get right into this. Let me show you guys the products we're going to be using today. So first we have the cream shampoo and this is the um, Flora and Curl Hydrate Me Organic Rose and Honey. And then the cream conditioner also in that same line is called the cream conditioner Organic Rose and Honey. And it also this hydrates the hair with rose water, avocado, shea butter, and honey. Some of my favorite ingredients. I'm gonna wash my hair with those and then I will come back and try out these styling products. So these two are from the Sweet Hibiscus line and this one is the this one is the Curl Activating Lotion, which I'm so excited to try. So this here is a plant-infused gel. So it has marshmallow root and hibiscus botanicals to define and shape your curls. I'm gonna just take out my hair to show you guys the severity of this situation and to see what we're tackling today. Oh, Gosh, my hair is so dirty. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a wash and go today, preferably with little to no gel. Um, this is what my hair looks like. I just took it out of some cornrows that were under my wig. So it's very, very stretched, but very, very dry. Um, I'm gonna go rinse my hair and then we'll come, I'll come back and we'll try the shampoo together right here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, my hair is soaking wet. Okay, so cream shampoo. Oh, oh, nice. Let's see, it's interesting because it looks so, oh wow. It looks like a hair lotion. Okay, let's see how it, oh yes, it suds. <laughs> oh. Okay, it suds, but very lightly. It's not tangling up my hair, but the fact that it feels like a lotion is nice. Okay, I think that is enough. I think I've used more than I usually would just because I'm not in the shower, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, let's wash this out. I'm going to come back. I'm going to scrub my hair clean, come back, and we can try the conditioner and see how that feels. But so far, so good. It feels like a nice hydrating shampoo. It suds, so I feel like it's getting the dirt out of my hair, but it's not too bubbly to the point where it's tangling up my hair. So this is good. It's moisturizing. It smells nice. It's gentle. But from what I can see, I think it's cleaning my hair, but we will see when I rinse it out. So I'll be right back. All right, so, so far, so good. I washed the shampoo out. My hair still feels very soft. As you can see, it has a lot of definition without having any product in it, which is nice. So that means my hair is still hydrated. Well, it is hydrated now because it definitely wasn't at the beginning of this video. So my hair feels good so far. It feels clean, but it does not feel stripped, but it does feel clean to the point where I like it. 
it feels like there's no grease in my hair but it's hydrated at the same time so I'm happy with that honestly I don't have much to say about shampoos because they either work or they don't and in this case it works so I'm just gonna leave it as that let's see how this conditioner feels in my hair and how it reacts it's about this much Ooh, oh my gosh it's so thick I like this Okay, a lot of you guys have been bothering me about washing my hair in sections and honestly I just cannot be bothered but I will do it today just for you guys because apparently I'm wasting so much product so I will section my hair off for you guys today this is the best I can do but I just cannot be bothered <laughs> okay so I'm just pumping some more and I'm gonna go into the back section And as you guys can see, I'm not using any detangling tools, just using my hands and working it through. This feels so good. It's so heavy, so I feel like it's really, really moisturizing my hair. Honestly, I'm going to focus on the ends. I feel like I'm not giving that enough attention nowadays. So I'm just... Why my hair looks good? Wow, <laughs> we're getting length, y'all. This is healthy. Like this is the healthiest my hair has ever been in my entire life. So, making sure I get my edges. Okay, this is what I like to see. My hair looks full and hydrated. You can see this side is already, oh wait, no, wrong side. You can see this side, the side I did first, is becoming less and less white, which means the products are soaking into my hair, which I like to see this fast. This is really, really good. This is a good sign. So it means my hair is taking in the product. Clearly, I'm adding some more. <laughs> you can see that my hair is taking in the product and it's still it's it's pulling up into a tighter shape so it's shrinking a little bit and it's taking the product with it so this is what i like to see i really hope that after i wash this out and i style with the products i can achieve a look similar to this because i'm loving this um place a shower cap and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse it out afterwards that's what i was gonna do anyway so that works out perfectly all right i think this should be better Okay, that's the best we're gonna do. So I'm gonna leave this for about 15 minutes. I will be back, we will wash it out, and we'll get into these styling products and see what they can do for me because my hopes are quite high right now. <laughs> All right, so it has been about 15 minutes. Let me take this off and see what's going on. Ooh, obviously my hair is nice and warm, which is good. Oh yes, my hair feels so good. My roots are so warm because of the shower cap. I honestly probably could have left it covered even longer, but my hair, mm, this smells so good. It smells like fresh honey. My hair is hydrated, it looks full. The ends are looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. I think it smells really nice and it feels really nice. There's not much more I can ask for. We got some shine going on. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wash this out and see if this moisture and this state of my hair sticks and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I washed my hair finally. I actually ended up leaving it in for another like 15 minutes just by default because I had to go do something and then um, I left it for 15 minutes uncovered so it kind of dried into my hair and then I washed it out so that was not on purpose but I'm sure a little extra time with the conditioner does not hurt. It looks nice and soft. It's not frizzy. It's not tangled either. Oh, there's water dripping everywhere. It's still kind of wet because I don't want it to be too dry. There's no, no, no lack of anything. It feels hydrated and it feels good so far. So the most exciting part that I have been waiting for is to try out these curl activating lotions and this gel. Like always, I have a spray bottle on hand to make sure my hair is extra wet if I need it to be. Okay, so we are starting with the Sweet Hibiscus Curl Activating Lotion and let's see how it goes this one does not have 
this is not the honey line it's the sweet hibiscus line so it's probably going to also feel different in my hair this one smells nice this one smells like flowers okay let's see okay slip okay so this cream is heavy but it has a lot of slip my hair feels so soft I think I'm gonna add in some gel a little tiny bit of gel because I want to see how that mixes with this curl activating cream so let's see Ooh, yes oh yes okay so we're definitely not gonna need too much of that oh 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 oh, oh yes mm. I just got some on my face wow this is it okay now I get what they're trying to do I guess this is why you have to use products together together yes now it all makes sense this looks amazing paired together okay so now i'm just going to move up to the front so you guys can see so but as you can see i'm not using too much gel and i'm not doing too much of a um super defined wash and go i just want my hair to clump and do its own natural thing you know this gel is really, really good. The fact that this is all natural is so shocking. My hair is looking so good. My hair is so elongated. I don't even know who I am, who I think I am. And look at this clumped definition all it is Whew. okay so we are halfway through I'm gonna work my way up to the front because my hair is dense y'all so let's just keep going and we'll see how it looks like at the end all right y'all my hair is completely done I know it looks different than usual usually my wash it goes at this point are very puffy and kind of have a bang going on but I want to keep it nice and smooth and stretched as much as I can and then when it dries a bit more I will go ahead and separate my hair because I want it to be pulled down as much as possible I want this wash and go to look a little different trying something new let's see what the hold is like on these products so it's kind of just going to separate on its own and then when it gets more dry I will go in and separate the rest of it right now I'm probably going to diffuse a little bit with my diva curl diffuser attachment and my blow dryer Alright guys, I am back. My hair is about 75% dry. I just went in with my hand dryer and continued to dry parts that I felt like were too wet. And honestly, that's all of the drying I'm going to do with a blow dryer because I don't want to dry out my hair because it feels so good. Anyways, I am so happy about this. I feel like it was a very successful try with these new products. My hair looks amazing, it looks full, and it's different than what I usually do, which is nice. It's more stretched going downwards, whereas before, I kind of had like a higher up fro. I think this was a very, very, very successful video. If you're looking for natural, completely natural ingredient products or vegan, plant-based, whatever you want to call it, ingredients, I'm going to let my hair continue to dry. I'm not going to do anything to it. I want to leave it alone. But that is basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, my hair is looking and feeling so happy and I'm gonna let this fully dry before I fluff it anymore because I don't want to ruin the process but so far so good so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it as you can see my hair took really well to these products and I'm happy I got a chance to work with flora and curl and make sure that their things actually work for me and you guys were able to see that and witness it for yourself so I'm gonna continue to let my hair dry and do its thing and leave it alone and just enjoy these new things in my collection so all details will be down below make sure you thumbs up this video let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions questions I'm happy to answer them and yeah I'm loving this new wash and go look it's been a while so follow me on Instagram if you haven't already I'd like to connect with you guys there thumbs up this video turn on the notification bell subscribe if you haven't and I will see you beautiful people in the next one bye